Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. May God bless you all. The 2023 presidential race has been filled with a lot of excitement and uncertainty since the emergence of Peter Obi as the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. With the balance of forces represented by the four main contenders in the race, religion is not the only thing at play here, but regional dominance will also play a major role in the outcome of the election. It will be recorded that during the 2019 presidential election, Atiku Abubakar's book of works came from the south. However, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party can no longer boast of dominance in the region given the emergence of Peter Obi and his swollen popularity in the southern Nigeria. This is why the former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Kingsley Moholu, in a tweet rele uh, released on his Twitter handle, wondered whether Atiku Abubakar would be able to get enough votes in the north to offset the number of votes he might lose to Peter Obi in the south. He said, Will Atiku perhaps the most cosmopolitan politician of the old guard win enough ethnic votes in the north to offset what he might lose to Ubi in the south, where Atiku had more support than his northern home base in 2019? Can Ubi crack the northern war? will the call not. Nevertheless, the, the forthcoming election will be nearly contested. But if Atiku Abubakar must emerge victorious, he must do his best to gather a lot of food from northern Nigerians. And these have got Nigerians talking. What is the combined vote of all the Southeast put together? If I may ask, Obi cannot win Jack with that. Bart is the man to beat. <laughs> will be with defeat Bart even in Lagos. Just 11 million out of 96 million. These are reactions by Niger Nigerians. Of president in waiting, Bola Ahmed. May Boko Haram wipe away your generation for calling Tinubu name. Reactions are getting tough. It is you that brought Boko Haram that if that it will wipe out just as its activities are centered where it came from. Hmm. Continue to deceive yourselves. Obedient and you see all the way. Yes, so I think we get the northern votes. That is for sure. Getting the votes are one thing. How to face Nigeria is another question. Please do ask them this. I think we will be disappointed and ashamed. By the time the result comes out after the election, Atiku has no moral grants to contest for president. Immediately, Buhari, a northerner, has finished eight years. It is the turn of the South. The Fulani wants power to continue with Buhari Fulanization agenda. See how his kinsmen, Tabowi, betrayed Governor Wike, who kept PDP alive, Why Atiku ran to Dubai to enjoy himself. God forbid, the two gamblers from ruling Nigerians. I think we get less, less than 67,000 votes in the entire South East. Then, I am sure, he will not get any vote at all or are obedient. Who is going to give him that number? Let's wait and see. Even PDP members are obedient in presidential election. If Peter Obi can win any state, we'll be only Anambra state, no more, no less. May Tiger kill you there. These are reactions by Nigerians. Reactions are getting tough. Obi is the man of the game. The Southwest via Lagos will be nearly contested by Bart and Obi. The North will equally be shared among the contestants. Thus, the Southeast and the South South is left for Peter Obi. You are a good political analyst. Clap for yourself. Which 
Will this analyst agree that the former CBN governor, Atiku, will emerge victorious in the 2023 election? Atiku re enemies and the Northern PDP governors. His best friend, Stabowe, is number one, one enemy of the middle bread, for dash their hope of Southern presidency, which the middle bread yet. Okay, even the middle bread is dominated by Christians who are voting Peter Obi. Consequently, Article 2023 project is in jeopardy in the Northern APC governance. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. As you can see, Nigerians are reacting left, right, and center. Some persons are saying hmm, Article all the way. Some are saying Tinubu. Why some are saying they are still obedient? But the truth is that, just look at these people. You look at Tinubu, you look at Atiko, Kwan Kwasu, and uh, Peter Obi. The only candidates, hmm? the only candidates should be at, uh, uh, Peter Obi. He's intelligent, he's young, he's vibrant, and this is exactly what Nigerians, are need, uh, what Nigerians needed now. Honestly speaking, we could not forget uh, uh, sentiments. We could not do the needful. If we make another mistake again, that is going to be another eight years of agony. Come to think of it, Article E should serve. Now, God hand it deal right now because he's having problem already. I am not seeing Wiki supporting Article in this forthcoming uh presidential election because those governors they are seeing article of being greedy this is um uh, this this article's ambition to want to be president which is not right it's supposed to come to the south but because article want to get it all you know they planned and they won the presidential primary election and all that Anyway, guys, I'm dropping into here. Kindly share your thoughts below in the comment section.